guys, Joy here. So I'm gonna share with you a beloved recipe from my blog. It's actually six years old for sexy maca balls. Now before you go thinking, or maybe rolling your eyes, oh, not another vegan ball recipe, just you wait, because these are gonna blow your socks off and you're gonna find out exactly why they're sexy. Any guesses? So this recipe is actually, um, it's in my first book. This is a very old tattered book. Uh, and this is my first book, Joyous uh, Health. And this recipe is actually the sexy maca balls, but don't worry, I'm gonna share the recipe with you. I just wanna show it to you. It's on page 261 um, in my book, Joyous Health. But it was uh, first, on the blog six years ago. It was such a popular recipe on my blog from 2012 that I decided to put it in my book and it's taken me six years to actually make a video of it. So I'm very sorry. Finally making a video of it, you're gonna love it. So what makes it sexy? So see all my ingredients here. Uh, these are my sexy ingredients. <laughs> and there's kind of like a trio of sexy ingredients. So first of all, we have some maca. Um, and maca is a root from Peru. And maca is known as an adaptogenic food. So that means it helps the body adapt to stress and the rigors of life. And you know, when you're really stressed out, Oftentimes, one of the things to go is your sex drive. So that's its sort of like claim to fame. Maca has been known for like over 20, 2000 years, sorry, over 2000 years as being an adaptogen and being great for enhancing your libido. Now this isn't just, you know, what people assume it's good for. There's actually research. If you go on to PubMed, you can actually find research that um, says that maca actually enhances sexual function. Ooh. So it's a powder, but originally it's a root. So it's ground, it's dried into a powder. So I'm gonna put uh, about a teaspoon and a half of it into my food processor. By the way, if you don't have a fancy schmancy food processor like I do, just use a blender. Well, actually mine's not really fancy because it's broken. Um, it's been broken forever. Um, but uh, you can use any brand. This is Navitas Naturals because I know you guys are probably wondering what brand. And it smells, um, so you can see the powder in there. And it smells, has like a caramelly smell. So, you know, other things you could use it for, warm drinks, like warm up some coconut milk. Um, you could do some sort of latte with maca. You could put it in smoothies or make my sexy maca balls. So, great for stamina. Now, I'm not saying if you eat these sexy maca balls, you're gonna come home and rip your clothes off and be all hot and bothered. <laughs> Although this is your bad thing if that happens, but it's probably not gonna happen by making this recipe. If you really wanna get the benefits of maca, like the libido enhancing benefits, probably something you wanna be taking on a daily basis, more as like a capsule. But this is just to enjoy the flavors. I'm also gonna put in some cinnamon. So I have about a tablespoon. I'm being generous. This is Cylon cinnamon. See the beautiful brown color? Oh, cinnamon is great to add like a nice sweet taste. And also, does anyone here have sugar cravings? This is a great recipe if you're trying to like ditch your sugar cravings. I have some goji berries. Whoops, goji berries have been known in Asian cultures as being a sexual tonic. Um, so really helping with sexual desire. So again, this adds to the sexy part. So if you don't like goji berries, I get it. A lot of goji berries, if you've never eaten them before, they definitely have a very distinct goji taste. In fact, I can't even really describe them. They're definitely sweet, but they have a specific goji berry taste. Just swap them out if you don't like them. Use dried blueberries, you could use dried cranberries. Then I'm also gonna add some raw cacao powder. So um, raw cacao has, stimulates chemicals in the brain that make you feel blissful and loving. So that's the sort of the third reason why these are called sexy maca balls. So I'm gonna put in about two tablespoons. I'm gonna give it a taste test and see. That's the thing, like this cookie ball recipe is totally raw. So it doesn't really matter if you screw it up. If you've added all your ingredients and you give it a taste test and you're like, eh, I don't really know, it needs something else, and just like add something else. Now, I have um, almonds here and I have cashews. You could use either. I think today I'm going to use raw cashews because they're a little softer. I just kind of feel more in the mood for them. But that gives you some protein, some good fat, um, and what else? Oh, and of course, what makes them stick? With raw cookie balls, as you probably know if you've made hundreds of them, um, you want to use something that helps get them to stick. 
So I'm going to use some dates. Um, in Canada and probably in the US too, there's we really only have access to like two different kinds of dates. So there's honey dates and medjool dates. But you want to make sure when you're making this recipe and pretty much any recipe that is a raw cookie recipe that you buy medjool dates because they're softer. These ones are actually not as soft as I would like. Um, but that's all they had at the grocery store. So uh, you can see I'm removing the pit. Um, you know what else is really tasty as a snack I like to do, which also helps to smash cravings? Um, I like to take out the pit and slather in some almond butter and a few cacao nibs and then put it back together like a little date sandwich. So that's really yummy too. So we're gonna put in, um, I'm not really counting here, but we're gonna, and don't worry, again, Go to the description box. You'll see the recipe. You'll be able to down. You'll be able to get the whole recipe. But um, depending on how you know moist your dates are, you may need to use a little less or a little more. I think I'm going to put in about how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's start with eight. We'll start with eight. Okay. So now I'm going to put in some vanilla. Uh, you could use vanilla powder or you could use straight up vanilla bean even better. I just don't have any. Vanilla beans are like sold out everywhere. I don't know what the heck is going on. Um, people are like vanilla bean crazy these days. <laughs> so I'm gonna put in some vanilla. Um, I'm using obviously vanilla extract. This is certified organic. And then the final ingredient of these wonderful sexy maca balls are some chocolate chips. Now, if you're like, oh, she's using organic cane sugar filled chocolate chips. Yeah, okay, yes I am. But if you don't wanna use these dairy-free chocolate chips because you wanna avoid cane sugar, no problem, don't use them. Just use raw cacao nibs um, and they'll have no sugar. And then if you want, you could adjust the flavor a bit and you could add some maple syrup. So everything's in my food processor. Let's turn it on. Um, make sure it's plugged in. Yep, it's plugged in. Thanks, Walker, for plugging it in. Walker's my husband behind there. Okay, so let's just give it a blend. Okay, so I'm not happy with that yet. I'm gonna add a few more dates. Just to get it a little bit more moist. That's because these dates are a little, um, well, they're fresh, like we just bought them, but they're actually a little stale, which is kind of annoying. Um, you know what you could do? If you buy dates that you feel like are too dry, just hydrate them in some water, and then it will make it easier when you blend them. Okay, let's do this again. Okay, so we had to troubleshoot a bit here because of my dry dates, and I've just added a tiny bit of water. Yes, that is the consistency you want. Okay, you don't want to see like any powdery dry stuff. That's what we're looking for. But don't stress guys, like if, if it's not working right away, just like, like I said, just troubleshoot. This type of recipe, oh, let me take my rings off first. This type of recipe is like so easy. You, um, because you're not cooking anything. It's not, it's not baking. It's not an exact science, right? Okay, so look at that. Look how pretty that is. Let's roll it up like so don't worry my hands are clean <laughs> i remember i did one video and and someone was like so perturbed oh, i can't believe she doesn't have gloves on okay so let's put it there so that's all you have to do um just roll them up and i like to do i think that's about an inch an inch to an inch and a half and then you want to refrigerate them so you can refrigerate them, I'd say probably for about a week to 10 days. If you freeze them, then they're fresh indefinitely. I actually like freezing them too because I like taking them straight out of the freezer and enjoying them cold. And if you're wondering if you can eat these if you're pregnant or breastfeeding because of the maca, yes, you can. I don't recommend taking maca as a supplement if you're pregnant or breastfeeding, but in this, in this instance, it's totally fine. Now, I know you're also wondering if you have kids, can your kids enjoy these? Yes, I will give, I would give one of these to Vienna. Would I let her eat 10 of them in a row? No, but as a nice little snack, uh, my daughter, just so you guys know, is almost two and a half. So I would totally give her one of these as a little snack. So a little tip for you, if when you're rolling the balls, they're sticking to your hands too much, just wet your hands and then they uh, won't be sticky. So that's it for my sexy maca ball recipe. Get the recipe in the description. I hope you guys love this. 
give me a thumbs up, comment, ask me your questions, and I hope you have a joyous day. Bye.